the rapidly evolving landscape of artificial intelligence and machine learning, one model has been making waves in tech community, and that is Sana. This powerful large language model is capable of generating stunning images that rival those created by human artists. Yes, we can generate images like this, such artistic and cool images with this help of free and open source model and with that unlimited images. Without spending a lot of money on the paid ones, Sana is a cutting edge deep learning model designed to generate high quality images from text prompt. Developed using advanced technique in the natural language processing and computer version, Sana can create realistic and detailed images that are tailored to the user's specific needs. This is Aditya and you're watching Skill Curve. Trend NVIDIA Sana model in Comfy UI will have to follow some steps and I'll also tell you how to set up Comfy UI first. Comfy UI is a powerful and modular graphical user interface for stable diffusion models, offering a node-based workflow that allows you to integrate and customizable image generation process. Setting up Comfy UI involves some steps, including installation, model integration, and initial configuration. So first of all, setting up the Comfy UI, there are first some prerequisites. First, you have to make sure there's install git, download and install git from its official website if you don't have already. If you don't have Python installed, ensure you have Python 3.10.6 installed on your system. During installation, make sure to check the options to add Python to your system. Make sure you have 7-zip, you can download it, it's free and open source software. Now, Before installing Comfy UI, ensure your system meets some following requirements like it should be a Windows machine, Mac OS and maybe Linux. Okay, now first thing, let's talk about some GPU specifications. NVIDIA GPU with at least 4 GB VRAM is recommended. RTX 3060 or higher is preferable. AMD GPUs are supported on Linux system. Comfy UI can also run on CPU. Best performance will be significantly slower. Now, memory at least 8 GB of system RAM and an SSD is highly recommended for faster loading and running of model files with at least 40 GB of available space. You'll have to visit the Comfy UI GitHub repository or download the standalone version directly. If you're using the standalone version, you can download Comfy UI Windows Portable NVIDIA CPU.z file, which is a zip file. You can right click on the download file and use 7 zips to extract it into a folder of your choice. This will create a new directory named Comfy UI Windows Portable. Here comes the most important step to download the SANA model weights. How would you do that? Just go, you have to go to the Asana and go to the hacking face repository of that. You have to download the checkpoints and you have to paste that into the checkpoint folder. Then go to the download the file of VAE file and make sure it to rename it with something meaningful. We'll use this in our image generation process. Now you have to navigate to the Comfy UI Windows Portable directory. Now depending on the, your hardware, you can click on for NVIDIA GPU or maybe you can click on the run cpu.bat file. Upon execution, a windows will appear indicating that server is starting. A message will be like to see the GUI go http slash 0.0 some port number. Now you'll have to go to the port number if the browser has not been automatically opened. Now if the interface does not look correctly, blank screen or missing something, ensure you are using an updated version of Google Chrome or another compatible browser. Comfy UI is almost set up, but it's not fully set up. You have to first set up the Comfy UI Manager too. To set up Comfy UI Manager, which enhances the functionality of Comfy UI by allowing the users to manage custom nodes and models more efficiently, you have to open the terminal in Comfy UI directory and run this command on your screen. It's a GitHub command. Now you have the manager to go there and install extra models and now just restart it. Now it's time to work with Sana, but before that, let's see a basic flow first to get you an idea of how things actually work here. First off, we have our foundation, the Sana checkpoint loader. This is where we load our primary model. Moving down, we encounter Sana resolution select node. We are working with a ratio of 1.38 here, which gives us a perfect canvas dimension for our tank artwork. We have two Sana text encodes nodes working in tandem. The first one tells our AI exactly what we want, pixel art drawing of a tank with a blue camo pattern. The second adds depth to our image by photo depth on field, which gives us pixel art that extra bunch of dimensionality. The key sampler node lets break down some of its parameters. We are using a seed of 20 for consistency, 20 steps for detail generation, a CFG value for 4 balanced creativity, a Euler sampler for its reliable result, a normal scheduler, and full denies at 1 for maximum effect. On the right side, our VAE decode node transform all this process data into our final image. 
Finally, the extra VA loader at the bottom ensures everything renders perfectly. We'll start building a workflow, now type SANA and drag all the relevant nodes. If you can do this, just simply click on the right node, right clicking of that, you can go to the extra models. Here now you can select the SANA and you can just drag all the relevant nodes which are necessary to build the text to image workflow. Now let's begin by selecting SANA model to do this type name and you can select the filter box. Now the appear and select the model that we already downloaded, it's 1600 million model. The model connect the model to the key sampler. This forms the basic basic structure of Comfy UI workflow. After that, we add the text encoder and the sound resolution condition. Finally, we'll also include the sound resolution. Select the setup, includes different resolution for specific images. In this case, I'll select the same type of using 1600 million parameters. Now we're going to connect the width and height to the resolution conditions for the sauna empty latent image. We'll also use the same height width. This way, we'll centralize the control over all the width and height setting. Then we'll connect the latent image to the key sampler. Now we got the text encoder here. Now this here specific loader for gamma. Drag the line over the workflow area and we've got the gamma loader. Connect now and we can continue connecting all the nodes. We'll also add a negative prompt. Drag another sauna text encoder which we'll use negative prompt. Remember a negative prompt is important and the sauna unlike the other models. This will, imp this will improve the accuracy while generating the images. We'll also use the empty latent node where keeping the same width and height. We can also use, select choose the aspect ratio we want for the image. In this case, I'll just take it with one and let's see how it goes. Now it's time for final case sampler generation setup. Now we'll use a v VAD encoder. Here we'll use VAD loader from the SANA model. We'll specify use the extra VA loader from the custom nodes that we downloaded in the initially with the Comfy UI models. Now make sure you choose the right VAE SANA. We have already downloaded this from Hugging Face. Now we'll use a SANA 1.0. You'll also see something like DCFE followed by a bunch of numbers. Use this and go with SANA 1.5. The data type would be FP16. This is good enough for the configuration. Now just add the image preview and that's it. Now you can add your different kind of prompts and see how the images goes. But before that, like the video and share it. If you like this idea, such content, you can subscribe it too. And now we'll generate some good images and see how it goes. Let's some Let's generate a simple first image like Gamer with PS3 and see this is how it's looking. Now let's generate some more images and enjoy the artwork.